Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at Key Management Service, which is used for creating and managing encryption keys for a variety of AWS services or within your applications. And the way I like to think of it is that whenever you see a checkbox in AWS to encrypt something, it's very likely using KMS. So KMS makes it easy for you to create, control, and rotate encryption keys used to encrypt your data on AWS. And KMS is a multi-tenant hardware security module, which we're going to talk about uh, in the next slide here. Uh, and the main takeaway I want you to remember about KMS is that whenever you are using a service and you have the option to checkbox on encryption, so here we have an example of EBS, uh, you're going to checkbox on and then choose a master key and that's all you have to do. It's going to vary per service, but that's pretty much the routine. Uh, and KMS can be used alongside with CloudTrail to audit access history. So if you have to investigate uh, who used what key, that's how you're going to do it. And AWS integrates with a lot of different AWS services. So here I've highlighted the ones which are most important to remember for the associate exams. So you got EC2, SQS, S3, DynamoDB, ElastiCache, RDS, and more. Okay. So KMS is a multi-tenant HSM, but what does that mean? So HSM, which stands for Hardware Security Module, is a hardware that is specialized for storing your encryption keys. It's designed to be tamper-proof, and it stores those keys in memory, so they're never written to disk. Uh, so imagine the power went out, those keys are gone, and that is actually a security feature. Uh, and so here is an example of a piece of uh, HSM. Uh, and these are really, really, really expensive. And so this is where KMS uh, comes into play because it is multi-tenant, meaning that there are multiple customers who are utilizing this same piece of hardware. So you're sharing the costs with a bunch of different uh, AWS customers. Uh, and those customers are isolated virtually from each other. So there is software that uh, protects you from uh, other people's data. Um, but if you had one customer who utilized the entire piece of hardware, which we would call dedicated, that would be also considered a single tenant because there's only one person using that um, that server. And it, AWS actually has a single tenant uh, HSM, and that is called Cloud HSM. And this is going to give you a lot uh, more control. Um, and the reason why people would use uh, Cloud HSM over KMS is that Cloud HSM is FIPS 140 to level three, uh, whereas KMS is only FIPS 140 to level two. But the takeaway from that is just understand that Cloud HSM is uh, you know, more for enterprises that need to meet those regulations, but KMS is a really great service uh, to utilize.